Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And I got one movie review for you guys today, and that is called The Starling. And this movie was released on September 17th, 2021. It is a drama comedy film that has a 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb, a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 88% on Google. Well, this movie was directed by Theodore Melfi and uh, written by Matt Harris. And it stars Melissa McCarthy, Chris O'Dowd, and Kevin Klein. And in this movie, we find Lily, who is married. And uh, after a um, uh, tragic event that happens, uh, her and her husband grieve. Uh, in different ways, he ends up trying to uh, take his own life and he's committed to a hospital while she, on the other hand, tries to move on and she eventually um, ends up planting this garden but ends up getting into it with a starling, a bird. And uh, yeah, that's what this movie is about. This is uh, I will have to say one of the better movies of 2021, in my opinion. Uh, I think this is Melissa McCarthy's best performance since Bridemaids. And uh, I think those two are neck and neck for her best performance. Uh, I know some people are out there saying, oh, well, what about the Rotten Tomato score? And blah, blah. I can give two shits about a Rotten Tomato score or any other scores out there. I'm judging it based on what I think and I believe this is neck and neck with Bridesmaids uh, her performance. Uh, in fact, I love both leading performances in this movie. Uh, I shed some tears, I laughed and this was a fantastic film. Uh, the writing and directing uh, are superb. Uh, I, lo I love the music, the cinematography, uh, everything about this movie um, just hit, hit, it hit home. And uh, I can't imagine, I'm not a parent, but I can't imagine what it'd be like, um, you know, to lose someone. Or lose a child. Let's just put it that way. And um, you know, I can't imagine the, the grieving. I mean, I understand from uh, uh, other instances. You know, I've I've lost loved ones. I lost a parent, and so on and so forth. So I understand. But to lose one of your own, uh, I I, just, uh, I don't know how I'd react, but. That this movie just, um, I really felt bad for both uh, leading characters, and uh, yeah, I know, just rough. And uh, I love their performances. I honestly, if it was up to me, uh, they'd be up for some awards. Um, but that's just me. I wouldn't say Oscar worthy. Uh, I would say more. I would definitely say Golden Globe, uh, Saturn Award, you know, uh, or a Street a Screen Actors Guild. I uh, don't think it's quite there as far as um, an Oscar, but uh, she's damn good in this movie. And like I said, I think it's her best since Bridesmaids, but that's just me. So I highly recommend you check out this movie. It's it's a sweet, sweet movie. And, uh, yeah. And if you're like me, I mean, I don't have tissues or anything, but uh, I did shed some tears. And uh, But this is a fantastic film. And uh, I think it's one of the better ones of the year so far. So with that, I'm going to give The Starling a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. 
So in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And what do you think is Melissa McCarthy's best performance in a film? Let me know in the comment section below. You can find this movie on Netflix right now. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you anything. You're helping me out, reaching my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos to my channel. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And please leave a comment down in the comment section below as well. That helps out a lot. As well also uh, I'm gonna be doing some more videos outside the realm of about movies uh, as you guys know I do top tens and rankings I'm gonna be expanding on that and I'm gonna be doing uh, top tens and rankings involving music uh, TV shows uh, pretty much anything is out there so if there's something you want to see on this channel for me to do as far as the top 10 are ranking, let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely do that for you guys. It, it can be anything. Uh, my top favorite restaurants or uh, my top five fast food places, sodas, uh, whatever you can think of, and I can do a ranking or top 10, and you guys want to see it on the channel, leave it in the comment section below, and I will definitely do that for you guys. And uh, I'll even give your channel a shout out as well. So think about that. Let me know. I'm going to be coming up with some of my own ideas as well. But I thank you guys for watching and check you later.